today in Tarkov, I wanted to work on leveling up my traders and getting level 15 for the flea market. Jaeger was a trader I haven't done much work for yet, so I started with him. He had two quests available for me, one to kill five scavs on woods without body armor, and another to stash food and water in both of the bunkers on woods. So I took a revolver shotgun and the food and water I needed and went in. After getting my bearings, I ran towards the ZB-014 bunker so that I could start stashing the first set of food and water. After making sure the bunker was empty, I hid the water bottle in the first Iskra ration pack. I then did some quick looting, but I sadly don't have the ZB-014 key, so I couldn't get behind the locked door to search there too. After leaving the bunker, I pushed towards the small checkpoint on the road near the sawmill. I was hoping to find scabs here to kill and maybe some loot to grab as well. After quickly looting one of the boxes, I began to leave when I heard a scab behind me in the trees. I had absolutely no gear, so anything the scav might have would be valuable to me. I quickly took his armor and bag, as well as his rifle so that I would have a longer range option. The armor was nice in case I got into a fight with another PMC, but if I was fighting scavs I would have to drop it on the ground beforehand so that my kills would still count for my quest. It was now time to push towards the other bunker so I could finish stashing the food and water. After making sure the coast was clear, I pushed towards the sniper rock, hoping to find more scavs below it. After grabbing my armor, I went to loot the scav, and shortly after, I heard someone creeping around nearby. It had just been a scav. I've now made a lot of noise, so I wanted to move out of this area quickly and head towards the next bunker. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! I'm gonna fucking murder you, you dipshit! That had been a close one, but I still heard someone else creeping around in the area. You piece of shit! Now that it felt like I had cleared the area out, I went to loot my kills. I dropped the PMC's gear on the ground so the scavs would have a little bit of a harder time grabbing it.
I then grabbed the big bag from the first scav and the Mosin from the second. Now I had a close and good long range option. It was now time to push for the bunker so I could finish stashing the food and water for Jaeger. That quest was now done, but I still needed to kill scavs without body armor. I had found some money on a scav earlier in the raid, so I pushed towards the car extract hoping to find scavs along the way and then I could extract with the money I'd found. I briefly stopped at this cabin and warehouse hoping to find some valuable loot in the boxes. After having a quick drink, I finished looting the other building and then pushed towards the village where I was hoping to find more scavs to kill. I made sure to watch the area for a short time just so that I wouldn't be caught off guard by any players. I then made my move towards the village. I knew there were scavs somewhere in the area and I was hoping to get the quest done. I grabbed my gear and pushed across the street so that I could get a better angle on the remaining scavs. Now that the quest was done, I ran back for my bag so that I could quickly loot the area while I still had a little bit of time left. After grabbing what I could, I then pushed towards the car extract on the bridge. My heart sank as I realized I didn't have the money needed to leave, but then I realized I had left it in the bag down the hill. After paying for my ride, I managed to slip out safely. This had been quite a successful raid and I was hoping to keep the ball rolling. It was now time to do some work for Skier. If I could get the unknown key quest done, that would unlock everyone's favorite pistol kills quest, Stirrup. So I set out to see if I could get the job done.
I'll be honest, I just didn't have it in me today. The ball busting factory PvP was just too much for me to handle. So I decided to switch things up. I had a quest from therapists to find the water in the dorms and I had recently found the key for the room so I decided to head that way. I loaded up with a decent AKM kit and went to customs. I had spawned at the crank house which is a good place to find morphine, an item that I had to get for therapists so I decided to take my chances and loot the building. I wanted to avoid the fight at the RUA of Roblox, but I still had to push towards the dorm, so I moved that direction while keeping cover. After carefully moving through the construction yard, I went across the main road towards the dorms. I was about to move for the dorms when I heard someone walking around in the area nearby. I was severely wounded and I needed to stabilize myself before I could even think about taking on another fight. I went to take a painkiller to quiet my PMC down, but then I thought I heard another player in the area. I wanted to relocate so that it would be harder for any potential teammates to find me. I was now also taking shots from the sniper scat, so I pushed to the green wall for cover. While continuing to heal, I heard more footsteps approaching. Luckily, it had just been a scab that I managed to scare off with a few shots. <coughs> now that I could move a little bit better, I pushed out of the area to find a safe place to finish my healing. After healing up, I repacked a magazine and then dropped my armor as it was completely blacked out. I also dropped my bag so I could quickly loot the PMCs I had just killed. After looting the first guy, I went back to my bush to drop some things off so that I could quickly loot the second body.
Now that I had everything in one place, it was time to sort through all of the loot. I still had a quest to get done, so once I was done sorting, I pushed towards the two-story dorms. I dropped my heavy bag in the bathroom to free up my movement as I wouldn't be looting in this building. After clearing the second floor, I popped into one of the rooms where there were two jackets that I wanted to quickly check. After finding the water, I pushed back for my bag and I was ready to leave the building. I had to move towards the ZB-1011 bunker, so I had a long and potentially dangerous run ahead of me. The power tower seemed clear enough, so I quickly stopped to loot this stash in the bushes. I then continue my run. I wanted to avoid the military checkpoint area as lots of scavs are usually in that spot. After some last minute looting, I made the final push towards my extraction point. I had made it out safely. This was a job well done. After turning my quest in, it was now time to head back towards Customs, where I was hoping to finish a quest for Prapper that required a package from a portable cabin, while also working on a bolt-action kills quest for Jaeger.
I hadn't been able to complete either quest yet, but I had made some progress. I hadn't given up though, so I took another bolt action in and went back to customs. After spawning in, I pushed towards the old gas station where I was hoping to find a scab to finish my quest with. After getting the final kill, I went to loot the scav for any valuables he might have. The armor was a nice upgrade and the 8-hour would be valuable for any fights I may get into later. After looting around, I pushed for Proper's quest cabin. Everything seemed clear, but then I heard someone moving around on the second floor of this construction building. Luckily it was just a scab. I looted him for his bag and then pushed towards my quest building. After getting the item, I decided to wait for a moment, hoping the sniper scab would lose interest in me. It was now time to push out of the cabin and clear the area so that I could loot these two PMCs I had killed. The sniper scab was still taking shots at me, so I was trying to take him out first. After being unable to hit the sniper scav, I decided to push back into the cabin so I could regain my composure. I also took this time to heal up and repack some magazines. That was when I realized I could probably loot this first body if I laid down and stayed in cover. Then I decided to risk it by pushing out and trying to loot the second body. I stayed low and tried to loot as quickly as I could. Now that I had my quest item and some loot, I decided I had to get out of here, so I decided to push towards the river hoping to take the smuggler's boat extract. I 
I had made it out safely, and after all of these quests, I had finally hit level 15, so I unlocked the flea market and could now sell a bunch of the valuable items I had been saving for my entire wipe so far. I had had some highs, and I had had some lows, but overall, this had been a pretty good and productive day of Tarkov. Now, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I also want to apologize for the uh, extended delay that, you know, it took to get this video out. Uh, I was stretched pretty thin between creating the server and looking for music and then, you know, just editing in general with this video. Um, so it, you know, took a lot longer than I originally had expected. Um, hopefully the extra 10 minutes or so that this video has on it will make up for that delay. And depending on when this video goes up, either the Discord server is already live, if it's uh, like Friday or later, um, or if it's earlier in the week, like a, like Wednesday or something, I just, I don't know when this video will go up. But if it's on Wednesday, the Discord server should be out by Friday or, you know, hopefully within a couple of days. Just keep an eye out for a channel post announcing it. It'll have all of the details relevant to it. And uh, if it is Friday, then the information should be in the pinned comment in the description. But if it's not there, then you just got to wait a day or two for Friday. I also just want to give a massive thank you to everybody who has uh, supported this channel and left kind comments, likes, uh, subscribed. The growth has been absolutely crazy and I'm st still in shock, um, but I'm super excited and, you know, thrilled. So thank you so much. With all of that being said, remember to take care of yourself and have a good night. I'm too